Okay, finally some um, creative coding. I know that there are um, courses where uh, they start with this and we end with um, this. However, um, you know, this poetry of programming is actually officially a three credit mathematics course. So, well, with, that's why we spend a lot of time in the world of pure functions of mathematics. But, <coughs> If you want to impress uh, your friends, you have to do some creative coding. So unless your friend is doing closure programming as well, uh, it's like you showed your solution for generating all permutations, he or she will not be impressed. But if you do something where the output is not the code itself, but um, something that can be seen, then it might be a bit more helpful. Okay, so this is what I'm, <laughs> I've been talking about. That you know, is, um, when you are um, sort of happy um, and you finally manage to to write a tricky piece of code, well, it's like uh, it's not that easy to share that joy with uh, just anyone. However, if you produce something that is fancy-looking graphics or animation, then it's probably easier to uh, impress people if that's what um, you want to do okay so what I'm I'm showing is just basically the um, it's another website that's the, the quill that's quill is a, a closure and closure script package where um, you can generate online um, sketches so if you ever heard of processing in, in Java that's basically the closure uh, front end for that so it's like what can it do as the easiest to um, to check the um, examples okay and these are very um, some of them very nice animations so let me show you my favorite Just go and see the source as well. Okay, so this is a slightly more uh, complicated piece of piece of code. We are not going to read this, but let's see what happens when um, when it's running. Yeah, it's like you see, it's, it's a very simple idea. You just have um, circular motion, but they have different speed. And um, if you trace two points moving at the same time, then you have this family of curves. And these are quite interesting. So why do I like this example? Because, well, it's, um, it's a fairly nice way of um, demonstrating mathematical ideas. Okay, but well that's not what I wanted to, to show. So if you go back, go up, let's look at uh, how can you do something like this. Let's look at the create option. So this will generate you code. <coughs> it's closure code. That is, well, that fits on, on one uh, screen. So let's see what it does. Okay, so that's just a, a circle moving uh, along a circle and changing its color. Okay, so that's a, it's a very simple animation. But let's see how the, the, the code um, works. Okay, so there might be a couple of things that's like, that's a bit strange. Uh, so first of all, of course, we need to load the system. You might have, you might remember when we needed the string functions, we had to require uh, closure dot string, but here we need the the core of the Quill uh, system. So there is this function, um, the, uh, which is the sort of the setup, and the most important thing is that um, we will have the state of the animation. 
it's given at each moment it's given by a hash map and that's the color the code for the color and the angle the angle of, of rotation so these two uh, will um, actually at any moment of, of time will give you the state of your animation and we have another function so update state which uh, because it's an animation so it's like you go from one state to the other and then just you draw that state and if you do it fast enough then you have an animation so what this does that it changes the the color um, rotating around and it changes the um, angle as well so what happens let's say um, instead of that I put a bigger number and I of course I have to run again okay well it's not it's way faster and it's probably not going through um, all of that so yeah I changed the bit of code um, how about if I make it 10 times uh, was it 0 0.1 let's try it okay now I made it very slow you know when I update the state I'm generating the next state I just add a very little angle to it and now it's a um, very uh, slow moving it's, I, I like it um, that way so we can make the the color changing faster okay sort of uh, flashing so that's a, okay what I'm doing now is just I take someone else's code and I just start tweaking it and trying to understand how it works okay and the great um, thing about this um, environment that you know I just press run and I see immediately so sort of the, the feedback is immediate and um, okay so finally it's like well we have the initial state and we have how to update the state and here's the, the function draw draw state okay so what it does it takes the state okay well a state is a hash map that has um, the, the value for the color key and the value for the angle key and that's um well this is sort of elementary trigonometry we just want to um, have the coordinate of this the center of the circle we are, are drawing and eventually we draw and well it's an ellipse but um, since it has the same number for both arguments let's say if I run this what happens okay now this is really an ellipse so the question is that uh, so what are the pieces which we don't fully understand this um, it's coming from this namespace Q what are what are those and it's like what what does it mean that um, I have um, Q fill. So what is fill? It's like okay. Let's see what. If I'm trying to change that to zero, what happens? Okay. Well, it's like an, I sort of made it black. <laughs> Maybe that was a bit too much. Uh, it's probably I changed the brightness to zero and <laughs> that, that it explains okay how about if I change this back mm. okay so it's as I figure this out, so when we set the color mode, we use we use HSB, which is the hue, saturation, and brightness. So we are changing the hue and the saturation. I, I set it to very low value. That's why we have this this pastel uh, colors, and the brightness is um, maximum. Okay. So what is this fill? Well, it is a new. Um, sort of concept to learn the API the application programming interface which is a collection of, of functions and data structures that someone did for you for example who wrote this uh, Quill system and let's just look at it and this we can find um, well I can 
search for it fail and maybe not that one ah here it is so if I look at it so it says the color used to fill shapes okay so this is this is for setting the color that's important and then let's go back and um, so let's look at the ellipse Oh, here it is. So draws an ellipse, an oval in the display window, an ellipse with equal width and height is a circle. The origin might be changed by with the ellipse mode function. Okay, whatever that is. But here's a minimal example. You can actually try the example as well. So this is the idea. Look at the API. Is this well documented? So what are the functions you can use? These are the functions you can you can use and. Um, well, you just use them to create something um, interesting, probably more interesting than uh, this one. And um, okay, so for example, um, what I'm just checking what might be um, the thing that you don't fully um, know, but. Um, well, okay, this might be a, a, a tricky uh, piece of destructuring here, and it's just okay. We we just say that these are the keys, color and angle, and we want to have the values um, value binding to these uh, symbols. But other than that, this is um, closure code, so um, you should be able to to play play with these. And let's see. I mean, it's it was quite um, interesting to to try a minimal example. Okay, so this is awesome. You can you can start with a minimal example and uh, change a couple of things. Okay, so uh, if you want to do a bit more closure coding. I would recommend to go to curl and then uh, try to create something interesting. If you cre create something nice, please send it to me so I can have a look. Um, I would be happy to, to see your creations.